Hello, all. How are you today? Hey, hey, great. Lovely. Thank you. How about you? <laughs> I am great. I binged with love. I loved every moment of it. Um, starting with Emerald, um, your journey, Lily's journey to love and self-actualization is kind of like the backbone of the story. How does she start when we meet her? Where is she at on these fronts? Yes, well, you you meet Lily kind of in a in a very crucial point in her life. She has her perfect on paper boyfriend and she decides to end it. But ending it means her whole family finding out that she no longer has a boyfriend. So, you know, it's it's it, her journey is kind of like uh, finding her own life by still uh, respecting her family traditions. So, you know, we always want to make our parents proud. And I think that is very important for Lily. So, you know, she's she's navigating through life, trying to find out what her her rules are and, and what lo love and what kind of love she wants for herself. And of course, Santiago has his own parental baggage that he is bringing to the table on this journey. Uh, can you talk about where we find him? It's kind of a, you know, a more somber situation for him. An interesting way to introduce a character. <laughs> you just see me crying like right off the bat, you know. Uh, but, it, but I think immediately it humanizes him and gives him character and gives people opportunity to go, oh, okay, well, I'm, I'm paying attention now. Uh, and you see how he deals with the you know, the realization that he's lost somebody and also how he deals with that situation with his dad, you know, and mm -hmm. I don't want to give any storyline away, but there's points where they revisit that together and it doesn't have to be this sort of somber uh, reality. I mean, there's a reality where we celebrate that person and, and we see that and we see them enjoy that together. And, and it's more so like, look at what this person had a hand in creating and, and it's more a celebratory thing, which I think uh, we should do more of. Definitely. Uh, Desmond, uh, I would say Nick seems like he's just like the life of the party, like he's just there to have a good time, but his feelings run deeper than other characters may have imagined. Can you talk about his friendship with Lily and Jorge? Yeah, um, I mean, you really do meet him at the point where like, ah, uh, just like, ah, uh, Hakuna Matata, that whole thing, you know, <laughs> no worries. Um, loves <laughs> just, just a big flirt. Mm. Um, but as, as is the reality behind a lot of people like that, and we all know, we all know people like that. There is like, there's a, there's something deeper going on, right? This whole constant stream of women, like constant flirting thing. They're definitely, even unconsciously, they're seeking something. Maybe it's love. Um, and he starts to learn that I think through like a super, super, like a supernova of an encounter. Uh, on the, in, in the first step that I won't, I won't spoil too much, but uh, it sets him off on a path of like, oh, here's a feeling I haven't felt before. What is it? And it's that whole exploration of, again, love. It's Lily. What is that yeah. feeling? It is li Lily. Lily. She lit the fire. She lit the fire. I love the dynamics that we explore with each of you. And I love how we get to do it through different holidays. <laughs> so I would ask you what your favorite holidays are, but I have to go now. So <laughs> I hope that you guys get to enjoy your favorite holidays with your family, like the Diaz family does every single holiday. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day.